Hey guys, Eric Tarr here for ProToolsTemplates.com. Thanks a lot for stopping by and checking out what I've got going on. Now there are three reasons why I wanted to create all these templates. First, and most importantly, I'm always looking for ways to help other musicians and engineers improve the sound quality of the projects that they're working on. Second, I want to help you guys speed up your workflow. Whether you're writing music, recording, or mixing, I know that you can waste a lot of time tweaking very specific parameters, and all that's doing is distracting you away from the creative mindset that's so important when you're working on music. Third, I want to provide some educational tips and tricks that you can apply to all sorts of different situations when you're recording and mixing. As a musician and engineer myself, and also as a consumer, I've noticed that there's just basically two categories of products that you can use when you're working in the box. First category is what I'll call the pre-processed stuff. These are products that are marketed to be what's called mix ready. And the idea is for you as an engineer can pull up one of these plugins without doing any extra work, you can immediately achieve pretty good results. An example of this will be a drum software virtual instrument where the samples have already been pre-treated or pre-processed behind the scenes by someone such that all you have to do is add in your MIDI and you can achieve some results that sound pretty good in the context of a full mix. Another example of this will be if you're trying to record an electric guitar or bass by plugging your instrument direct into your interface and recording that dry signal. Then what you're going to do is add in a plugin, an amp simulator that has a preset that's going to change your guitar sound to make it sound good in the context of other instruments. The advantages of this style of product is very quickly you can achieve some pretty good results. Also, if you're not very experienced, you don't really know where to start dialing in a compressor or an EQ. You can use these kind of mix ready presets uh, to achieve the results you might not be able to do otherwise. The disadvantage of this kind of product is although it's said to be mix ready, it might not actually be ready for your mix in the sense that each mix is a little bit different. If you don't like how much compression has been added on to a drum, there's not much you can do after the fact to remove that compression after it's already been added back in. This leads us to the other category of products. These are the unprocessed stuff. These are products that are meant to sound very raw and very natural. They allow for the maximum uh, amount of tweaking and flexibility so you can tailor the sound specific for your mix. However, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of work to dial in that specific setting. Also, if you're not very experienced, you might not have a good idea about this kind of signal processing, signal routing that's necessary to kind of tailor that very raw and natural sound to make it fit in the context of other instruments. So the idea for me was to create these templates that should be the best of both worlds, that right off the bat, they're meant to sound very good. I'm not going to argue that they are mix ready, but what I'll call them is mixing ready in the sense that they sound good right off the bat, but all the processing is done in Pro Tools such that if you want to go in after the fact, you want to change a compression, you want to change an EQ curve, it's all right in front of you and you can quickly do those things without having to worry about and starting from scratch and having to worry about exactly uh, dialing in all the signal routing that's necessary. So please poke around on the website, check out the samples that I've got up, check out the other videos to see exactly how it works. This is my idea on ways to help the community of musicians and engineers. I'd appreciate your support in return, and thanks again for checking out ProToolsTemplates.com.